Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the underground. underground. Please buckle your seatbelt seat 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 and enjoy the ride. ride. More power to you. Alternative television. A voice of the Revolution. Revolution. The Underground. I'm your host, Deanna Russo. This is unfunded nonprofit television with no commercial interruption. An alternative viewpoint, a voice of dissent and revolution. Our goal to promote thought and rattle the institutional cages that say there's no such thing as quality underground television. Get ready for unfiltered art in all its forms. More power to you. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to start with a brief statement by the President, September 11th. And with that, I will be glad to go to your questions. It's clear from the record that you, Karl Rove, or the President is lying. Why should we believe you now? Is that a rhetorical question or a logic puzzle, David? Scott, Karl Rove and Louis Libby just dragged what was apparently a dead body behind your podium. That is part of an ongoing investigation, and I cannot comment on it at this time. Was that a compromised CIA asset? Terry? Ah, uh, I was going to follow up on the body. But Robert Novak and your predecessor, Ari Fleischer, just walked behind you holding hands with Prince Bandar. Does that have anything to do with the fact that Novak not only exposed Valerie Plame in his column, he also revealed her oil-related CIA front company on TV a few weeks later? Again, Terry. By the way, didn't Ari Fleischer step down on the same day that Novak exposed Plame? Again, Terry, that's part of an ongoing investigation. I want to talk about it, but this is not the time. Helen? Jeff Gannon just tiptoed behind you. Carrying his shoes and clothes. Did someone just leak information for him to convey? Or was he here on another out call? That bitch. Uh, believe it or not, that too relates to an ongoing investigation, and I'm afraid I cannot comment on it. Last question, John. About the vice president. Did he, um, just walk behind me with an arm full of shredded documents? Or was he eating a baby? He eats babies? That's a ridiculous suggestion, John, and frankly, it's irresponsible of you to repeat it. Thanks, everyone. Scott, any tips on getting the blood off our hands? That's all, bro. Kelly, Matt, Joe, and I are back again to belly up and speak our mind. Our goal, to filter out the bullshit and find the truth that is underground. Hey, bartender, I need something stiff. Disobedient right now. We're on the topic. Ballroom politics. We're <laughs> on the topic. Push me in the face, D. What is up with this hyper surveillance? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, guys. It's like, I mean, with, between satellites and, and censorship and, you know, the cameras, and traffic lights. It's like, it's like, it's just think like we're afraid to really be ourselves because someone's always watching us it's it's very big brother i i yeah i, I don't honestly i don't I, see what everyone's so upset about i mean i'm willing to pay this don't. price for my security oh. <laughs> and my no, safety no no, no, no no do you really feel secure what 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 about someone always knowing where you are makes you feel safe what 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 is yeah. that accountability but, but you know what you're i'm sorry but uh, i'm i'm just gonna you're I'm gonna not sorry up. no no i'm not but <laughs> Like, your security's never really threatened anyway. When we start talking about taking away civil liberties and stuff, people who look like you aren't going to be the ones who that ever falls down upon. It's going to be people who look like me. So for you to kind of sit here and be like, oh, well, I feel secure. My, my liberties are, you know, I don't mind giving up. What are you giving up? I mean, they're not stopping you at the my freaking airport. My fear of being carjacked. <laughs> That's messed up, though. But you, you hear my point, though. You see my point, though. I mean, when I hear this argument, like, you know, everyone give up their liberties. Like, the people who are screaming this are the ones whose liberties are not going to be affected at all. But those are the people who have already, I mean, maybe not accepted, but are already accustomed to their freedoms being taken away. Excuse me? What I'm saying is, yeah. you said this is more likely to affect me. Do you think it's not affecting you already? 
Uh, yeah. It, no, I mean, what I'm what I'm worried about is when, like, for instance, there's a level of my liberties being like I live in Los Angeles, so like when I drive to Santa Monica, <laughs> I take my liberties in hand with me every. You know, it's like I could be pulled over, or whatever, but I accept that. But when we start getting to a level where, okay, now we're gonna make it actually legal to start pulling people out of their cars and out of their houses and holding them without representation and stuff. I'm not worried about that affecting you. I'm worried about that affecting me. So I'm like, no, let, let's, 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 let's remember the plot here a little bit. And then I get really scared when all the people who I know aren't gonna be affected are the ones standing up going, hey, sure, by all means, let it happen. You know, so that's why like where we're going, this hyper surveillance, I'm seeing it. I mean, when this whole thing originally, when um, we were having the, uh, uh, after 9-11, we were having the, uh, of the uh, Arab people in this country come forward and, and register themselves and stuff. And people are like, well, that's okay. That's what a good citizen would be. No, it's Nazi Germany is what it is. When like, they had to wear the yellow stars on their van. Where was that when, um, what's his name, the little guy, the Oklahoma bomber? Where were like all Hanyaki hicks having to go and register themselves? <laughs> because you know? no one could find them. They were up in the hills. But, I mean, but the idea would have been ludicrous in this country for like, okay, every backwater frustrated. But the same thing happened during World War II with the Japanese, and I, I'm, I, and I'm just, I, I'm, I agree and with you. Insanity on our country, by the way. No, I agree, but I'm saying that you know, it's it, the difference is, is a, you know, white people are the power holders in the country, but b, it's easy when you have a visual target, mm -hmm. when you can say the person whose eyes or skin color looks like this. Mm -hmm. That's 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 our that's our target. That's our enemy. That's you know our problem. Right. That's what we have to look out for. So the onus is then for people like you to say like, no, don't take our civil liberties. Not because your civil liberties are going to be ex uh, affected, but because you recognize it. Mine aren't really going to be affected, but I'm part of the power structure that can make sure that see, others aren't. But, but, but then, see, but the problem is, uh, it, it's it's ideas. Are, uh, this is a tough one. <laughs> see, when there's something that you truly believe in, when you truly take action. But what does action look like? I mean, like, like, what, what are we gonna go? Like, we're all gonna go down to the Walmart and pick up some rifles and go and storm Washington. Well, I, mean, I mean, that's not gonna get us anywhere. It's tempting. You know, I mean, all that's gonna get you is shot, killed, and, and gone, and you know, a, a little byline on the ten o'clock. Yeah, but that's well, over dramatic and not well planned. Out. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, what do you think? But when you have the majority of people that are already scared sitting at home and shaking in the boots because every day at the bottom of the at the fucking TV is like, oh, um, you know, alert has been raised to code. Red. Oh, it's code orange today, so maybe you can go to the grocery store. But code red, get in your bomb shelter and, and make sure that, yeah, make sure you have your stuff. Yeah. And you already have a society that is shaking in their boots, or at least that's what the government is trying to do, is to keep people somewhat scared and on edge and not able to think clearly about going to Walmart and getting the guns because they already think that the government's doing that for them. So you guys stay at home, sit in your bomb shelter, we'll take care of everything, you know? See, that's, but here's the This but, is contradicting but, what you just said. If we're saying that like divide and conquer is the way to control society, now you're saying like having a common enemy is a way for this 5% to stay in power. No, I, I didn't say that. I'm saying that's what he said. What, what I said? Uh, I'm talking about you saying you're okay. <laughs> giving up your civil liberties. <laughs> civil liberties I'm okay with you that. might feel a little safer. No, no, honestly, no. Where I'm coming from is that literally, I don't have anything to hide. So the, the thing for me is when people talk about, you know, oh, they're coming after you next. No, they're not. I, and that's what I was talking that, about with the initial But wait text. for that one moment where you go online and you're at Google and you Google some word you heard from the day. Like someone says, hey, you ever heard of this club? It's called the blah, blah, blah club. And you're like, what is that? You go home, you put it in Google, all of a sudden it's like, it's like child porn ring. And then the government gets that through the, their ability to, to search information on search engines. You have someone knocking at your door the next day, be like, oh, you're checking out child porn? Come with me, you're going it's downtown. It's a good theory. It's not a theory, it's happening right now. And this idea, this, this whole idea of what you were saying, how, how you could allow part of you to, to be infiltrated and to be looked over and, and to pass the test so that you don't, you know, get pulled out of line. But still, they're looking at you. They're, they're taking you already, and they're, they're going through the lists and trying to find from you the information that they're looking for in order to pull you out of line. Right. But you're still being looked at. But they have no right to look at you. We should empower ourselves to make those that are in power work for us instead of us working for them. Revolution. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. More power to you.